Hi, this is James O'Keefe. Welcome to another recording of a meeting for, well, another meeting <laughs> of the, another member meeting of the Massachusetts Pirate Party. Um, we're recording this for folks to watch afterwards and we'll post it once uh, it has been processed and all. Um, today is September 28th, uh, 2003. My name is James O'Keefe. I live in Somerville and I'm captain of the Massachusetts Pirate Party. Um, would others please identify? Uh, sure. I am Steve Revelock. I am the uh, assistant chair, first mate, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I live in Arlington, Massachusetts. Thanks, Steve. Uh, and we have uh, one other person, uh, V, who's uh, 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 lurking. Thank you for joining us. Um, so in terms of our agenda, um, reports, um, we were notified by uh, Restore the Fourth Massachusetts, um, also at warrantless.org, that um, the city of Boston is uh, public safety is meeting tomorrow, Friday, and is uh, taking testimony about why they should not accept up to $3.4 million from the federal government to spy on us and otherwise give money to the police for the fulfillment of the Boston Regional Intelligence Center. So at MassPirates.org, we have information about how you can tell them no, um, and that's Great. been that's been most of my what I've done, Steve. I was going to say brick, brick house. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Boston uh, Regional Intelligence Center. <laughs> so, uh, also want to thank uh, everyone who came out for both the. Uh, meeting that we had, uh, sorry, not the meeting, uh, it's been a long day. The um, uh, camera mapping outing that we had uh, in East Boston, uh, as well as the party um, we also had uh, the next day. And to um, John and Mickey, respectively, for organizing those wonderful outings. Um, we hope to have more in the future. Um, we, uh, yeah, so, um, oops, oh yeah, so there's, uh, I'm, I'm kind of jumping around here, sorry, um, and, uh, I'll just go on to, yeah, U.S., uh, do you have anything to report, Steve? Um, the, um, not too much, I mean, mo for the most part, uh, Arlington has a special town meeting in uh, coming up in October where we're going to decide on whether to adopt a um, a set of zoning changes to comply with uh, in Massachusetts it's called section 3a it's basically a requirement from the state that you know hey all you suburbs you gotta let people build more housing so there's much ado about this going on locally and it's sucking up a huge amount of my time <laughs> <laughs> understandable but for you know for good uh you know for uh for good for good reason i mean yeah we 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 kind of have a, a a bit of a housing shortage <laughs> uh and other news uh i think it was wbr bur and the globe i want to say reported that something like two thousand units maybe 2500 units um of public housing are basically vacant and various municipalities are sitting on it um meanwhile uh we've got more tax breaks for the rich that the legislature just approved because you know we don't have enough money for to build public housing but we don't have enough 
sorry, sorry, but no, I'm going to no, rant no, a little no, bit. No. So we're, we don't have enough money to, or we're not willing to spend the money to maintain the public housing that we have. Um, yeah, I, I read this, the piece by the Globe, and basically, you know, the general gist is a lot of the times these using units go vacant because, you know, they've been occupied for a long time. They turn over the unit needs work, and there is no money to get the work done. So rather than being able to put to use, it sits there. It sits there and waits. Um, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll end my rant there. I could go longer, but I'll, I'll cut you all a break. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the, the, the article, it's a series of articles, I think, and they, they talk about mm -hmm. the, the chronic underfunding of public housing in Massachusetts. Speaking of uh, underfunding, um, we also learned that uh, the MBTA um, knew uh, they had equipment to measure the, the distances between rails on the Green Line extension and the... Apparently, the equipment told them that the rails were not to specification, but they allowed them to go in anyways, and now the MBTA green line is, and that section is limited to, like, what, three to ten miles an hour? <laughs> yeah, I, I heard three three miles an hour, and, um, you know, the T's general manager was saying, yeah, they were a little narrow to begin with, and that's kind of questionable, but supposedly the rails have been narrowing over time, which is more or less the opposite of what they usually do. They us wear usually expands them, um, but somehow these wore in the wrong direction or something. I don't know, but um, hopefully, yeah, hopefully they figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a brand new goddamn train, damn it. <laughs> we want it to work. <laughs> Yeah, it was funny that they kept having to shut it down and say, oh, we got to use buses instead. It's like, you just put it in like a year or two ago. <laughs> How is it falling apart already? Um, just another event, shout out to our friends at Extinction Rebellion. Um, they are having their festival for a future uh, Saturday, September 30th, 2.30 p.m., Cambridge Common. Uh, they have various workshops and activities, and then a light box procession at seven. Uh, we encourage folks to uh, to join them. They have some other events coming up that uh, we will hopefully be at. Um, I know I'm hoping to go by on Saturday. May rain. We'll see. Uh, all right. So. Um, decisions endorsements. Um, U.S. Pirate Party, uh, thankfully V was nice enough to tell us, did not meet uh, at their previous meeting. Um, so no updates on that. We talked about the September 14th camera mapping outing. Again, thanks uh, to everyone who attended it uh, and the party the next day as well. Thank you, John. Thank you, Mickey. Um, our conference is October 14th. Uh, we have, we've got a space. It is at the West Somerville branch of the Boston Public, uh, sorry, West Somerville of the Somerville Public Library. <laughs> uh, and uh, we have from, I think, 10.30 to 12.30, or maybe actually probably 10 to 12.30, uh, if I recall correctly. Um, so if you're interested in speaking at that or attending, uh, we'll put links in the description. You can find that at masspirates.org. Uh, November 11th, 12th is the Boston Anarchist Book Fair, which trying to get a table and or speaking, uh, having a mapping surveillance camera, uh, talk at, um, and then local outreach, um, I know I don't have anything updated on that. Do you, Steve? Nope. Okay. Um, and then video newsletter podcast. Um, we haven't had a pirate news for two uh, Sundays. Should we have one this Sunday? 
I say go for it. Um, I've uh, one of the things I started looking into uh, a while ago was um, apparently, or the Mozilla Foundation has done sort of privacy assessments on uh, modern automobiles, and wow, it's some bad shit. <laughs> so I, I think we should talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think that's a great thing to talk about. <laughs> Uh, speaking of that, uh, someone has been kind enough to, uh, apparently a shot spotter just got left on their roof and, you know, replaced by another shot spotter, but the old one was left there. So abandoned, one could say. Uh, so hopefully if we will have folks together to, I don't know, debug a shot spotter. <laughs> <laughs> So we uh, wait. So we actually got that piece of equipment. Uh, or... One of our supporters has it. <laughs> yeah, okay, so someone's got it in hand. Awesome, bitch in. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, who should we reach out to to ask with that set of expertise? Uh, you know, the mass mesh folks might be ones to ask. I, that I can, I can certainly ask them. Uh, do you think FSF? Yeah, totally. Okay. All right, well, um, we'll have to set something up. And we can certainly put it in the next email announcement asking if there's anyone who wants to help with that. So. Um, you know, I mean, abandoned property and everything that you left on somebody's roof, you know, what do you expect? Um, when you're pirating off of their electricity. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um, so that's all. Um, on the agenda. Anything else to add? Uh, nothing here. All right, great. A nice short meeting. Uh, for you folks watching at home, we have these roughly every two weeks. The next one will be next Thursday. Um, what is that? I think it's October 7th. No, October 5th. I mean, I can just go. <laughs> Look. Yeah, Meta X calendar says October 5th. <laughs> yeah, October 5th. All right. So the next one will be the 5th and then the 12th. Then we have our 14th, uh, our 14th conference, and then we'll be back to two weeks. Um, so at the, you know, certainly at the 5th, we'll have locked down the schedule for the conference. And mm -hmm. that will be in person and virtual. We encourage folks to come out. So with that, um, Thanks, everyone, for attending. Thanks, folks, for watching. Uh, check us out at masspirates.org, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye.